Welcome back. Today I will show you how you can create a cinematic intro like this in few minutes. So on your Filmora 12, go to the audio tab and search for music on the topic of the video. I'm making a travel vlog. So I'm searching for travel and uh, I can quickly preview the music before I use. So this is the one I used in the video. Let me download it. Then I can simply drag and drop into the timeline. I will use the first 20 seconds of the music. So let me trim the music. I can get quick split tool by using keyboard hotkey C. Then uh, delete the extra part. Let me add fade out effect by double clicking the clip. Then adjust the fade out duration. Now, just like music, we will also use stock media for the footage. So let me search the topic of the video that is travel for travel related videos professionally shot free of cost to be used in the project. Now, before I drag and drop the footage, let me share with you a simple trick. We need to find and mark the distinctive parts of the music when the transition of the videos will happen. You can do it by simply clicking M on the keyboard. So that's the next point I will put the mark. Let me do it for the rest of the video. It's done. Now I will find the perfect footage for my project and will drag and drop. I will keep the project settings same for all the footage. Now let me resize this footage as per the markings I have done. Do the same for the rest of the videos. Let me now show you what it looks like. Now let me show you the most interesting part of today's video that is the cinematic bar opener that I showed you at the beginning of the video. We need to add two black layers on the timeline. So go to the stock media, then photos, film stock, solid color. Here you will find the blank images. Let's drag one above another. Let's extend these images in accordance with the length of the videos in the project. Now this part is very, very important. Double click any of the black images. We need to adjust the Y axis. Now from the project settings, you know that we are using resolution of full HD that is 1080 by 1920. So this is 1080, right? Half is 540. So we will use 540 at the beginning and add a keyframe. This is the black bar right now. From the beginning, let's move the playhead three seconds. You can keep it at uh, two or two and a half seconds. Now my goal is to get 21 is to 9 cinematic aspect ratio. So the width remains the same that is 1920 the height we need to calculate. So let me do the simple calculation first 1920 divided by 21. So 21 is to 9 that means we multiply by 9. So this is the height pixels that is 822.85 minus 1080 so that's the width of the two black bars let me divide it by two that will give us the width of each of the black bars that is 128.5 so let's uh, minus this from 1080 so this should be the y axis after 3 seconds 
let me hide the second black bar to show you the result so that's how it will look we need to do the same for the next black bar but uh, here is something you need to remember that is we will use minus 540 and minus 951.5 because we are going reverse y-axis that is downwards There you go, it's done. If you are using 4K or 720p or any other resolution, do the calculations accordingly and get this result just like that. Or simply you can use this formula I made for you guys if you want 21 is to 9 aspect ratio. So guys, the video is almost ready. Next, we need to add the titles. I will search for cinematic titles and add the one I like now this title already has a background which I can remove by double clicking then advanced here I have the preset video layer which I can simply click delete on my keyboard I will also adjust the animation duration as per my choice and also the length of the titles there is also a small second text which we don't need double click on the text and uh, replace with your own words add as many titles as you want I have added total five titles the last one is actually crossing the project length because I want it to end in blank background so let me add the dissolve transition effect the length of the music needs to be extended as well I will also add the dissolve transition effect on the last clip the video is done but just one thing I don't like the white outline around the text so I can simply change it to black I will do it for the rest of the titles so this is how you create a cinematic intro for your YouTube videos and give it a professional touch before you check the preview you can render for smooth playback now enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment.